of the day has gone uh, just uh, right by the timeline. No issues reported. Uh, you see Williams in this replay uh, make his way through the hatch, followed by Skripochka. Ovchinin uh, was last inside as he waved goodbye and blew a kiss uh, to his uh, crewmates that he has been with uh, since July when they arrived on board. Uh, this wrapping up 172 days in space for Ovchinin, Williams, and Skripochka. Uh, a journey uh, spanning 72.8 million miles that will culminate with a touchdown on the steppe of Kazakhstan about one hour and ten minutes from now. They suited up in their Sokol launch and entry suits, and at 4.51 p.m. Central Time, uh, the physical separation of the Soyuz took place as springs on both sides of the docking interface pushed off against one another, enabling the Soyuz to depart the Poisk module on the space-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. The undocking occurring uh, at an altitude of 258 statute miles over eastern Mongolia. At the uh, bottom of uh, the view uh, of this plasma of the streak shot, if you will, is uh, the descent module in which uh, the three crew members were located. Right behind it, uh, bits of the um, orbital module following the pyrotechnic uh, separation of the three sections of the Soyuz spacecraft. Again, this photo taken during atmospheric entry of the Soyuz TMA-20M space. And there is uh, the Soyuz TMA-20M spacecraft, uh, less than 10 minutes away from touchdown, under its main parachute, uh, moving uh, ever so steadily towards uh, its landing target, uh, about 90 miles to the southeast of the uh, remote town of Jezkazgan. And uh, replays uh, that were taken uh, from uh, one of the uh, search and recovery helicopters as uh, the Soyuz uh, was in the final seconds uh, before touchdown. This ought to give us a good view of the soft landing engines firing just a second or two before touchdown. Soft landing engines firing again in this replay uh, from video shot uh, from one of the search and recovery helicopters as uh, the Soyuz descended towards a bullseye landing at 8.13 p.m. Central Time, 7.13 a.m. Uh, at the landing site on Wednesday morning in south central Kazakhstan. And another replay uh, as we watch uh, the Soyuz uh, descend uh, to its touchdown, another view uh, in which you'll see the soft landing engines fire. Again, uh, those soft landing engines fire just a couple of seconds uh, before touchdown uh, in a final braking maneuver. And that is NASA's Jeff Williams. Now back in the chair, so he was sucking out. Now again, he's with his uh, flight doc, his uh, surgeon, Dr. Joe Schmidt, and NASA astronaut Pat Forrest are here to welcome him back, along with uh, the NASA Russia team, Uncle Joe Montalbano from the International Space Station program. But Jeff Williams, NASA's most experienced astronaut, now out of the capsule in his chair, once again back home here on planet Earth. <laughs> Jeff Williams in very high spirits. Jeff Williams smiling broadly, sitting next uh, to his Soyuz commander, Alexei Ovchinin. Great view of Jeff Williams uh, as uh, he uh, reacclimates himself uh, to a gravity environment for the first time in 172 days of note. The uh, visiting vehicle officer here in Mission Control reported that the landing occurred at 8.13 and 53 seconds p.m. Central Time, we round it down. Uh, that's uh, the way we do it. But um, that is to the second, to the exact second, 
that the Russian flight controllers estimated uh, in their timeline uh, for the Soyuz to touch down. 8.13 and 53 seconds p.m. Central Time. Remarkable.